down. We're about to settle down. Nash versus Guile. Now, now, Guile players do generally not really like this matchup because Nash has the V skill that nullifies the fireball, and he has a fireball of his own, meaning that Guile kind of has to get in because Nash can really easily keep at bay, build up a free V trigger if Guile wants to throw fireballs. Out. And on top of it, Nash with his movement uh, ability can actually, you know, sometimes he can just outrun Guile while also staving off the fireball pressure. He decided he was going to go right in. That's just kind of how he does things. <laughs> you know, I like it. Feet first. It, that's what do it as one to do it. He was one of the most offensive guys historically, and now the character is actually just better on offense as with most characters in five. And there you see nothing to do really throwing fireballs. Most of reactively, V skill gets tagged by the V trigger. Infiltration set it up. It was a trap. The first 20 seconds were all a huge slugfest just so he could have a V trigger on deck when they settled in. But. Got caught, Knuckle Dude reinforced the space, got back to it. Knuckle Dude threw zero fireballs unprompted in that matchup. He only threw fireballs as a reaction to other fireballs because he does not want to give infiltration B trigger for the exact reason you saw. Love that that thoughtful that that necessarily thoughtful play where you have to just be aware of your opponent and their options. You can't just impose your will blindly. I mean, are you seeing Kyle not throwing sonic booms? It's just almost insane to watch, but it's how you play this matchup. Just too close for that critical art to anti-air. Beautiful range there by Knuckle Dude as moving forward. I really like Infiltration countering the low with the low there and jumping over the fireball himself, really not letting Dude get anything started. And it's amazing though, but you watch this, and Knuckle Dude is actually still in a really good range. He's got a lot of bar. He's almost going to have a V trigger. He'll have it in time for the fight, but. Infiltration spends that V trigger early, knowing he'll get another one if he spends it right away. I am loving this right now. They are both. This is very active. Another clean jump in. Infiltration right now with a dominant position. Just needs one clean combo or a couple of love taps. One throw. Any little baby damage. Sometimes the boom gets the jab. Antier do on anything going to kill him. And this is where infiltration is almost at. Yo, peek the What's the mix up here? Oh, just a medium punch. And really, infiltration's in range of dying here because any combo into super could do it. Absolutely. Oh, caught it right there. Nuggetoo had to make a choice. You have to try to take a throw there, maybe. Maybe trying to add, flat out press a button and catch a shimmy. And the thing about that uh, Nash that is better than Season 1 is, is those close range normals. Back medium uh, kick now being plus on block. And that will be a punish there. Great master knowledge for Nuggetoo knowing that even though that leaves him at a range, the super is way far enough. I love it. Dude said, did you just see they unveil my costume yesterday? I am not here for none of y'all foolishness. Unsafe move, maximum. I love that critical hard punish at the beginning of the round. Nose is gonna have meter again. Oh, he's gonna get a combo off this goes for the throw. That really nice anti air there. Gets the dash into the corner and Knuckle Dude be triggering to get himself out. Chuck them booms. Move up. No, no, go ahead and hold this media. I love it. That's really good versus Nash, of course, who has no true reverse. Here. Oh! Oh, gets him with a tip range, but Knuckle Dude here, a real big range of dying. Clip the chin. And the overhead of Max range. The tournament winner. If there ever was a tournament winner for Street Fighter, it is that right there. No one else gets away with that anymore, right? Except for Infiltration. He gets it every single time. And the back said, y'all thought I forgot? They must have, we must have forgot who he was. Because he certainly did forget who he was. He is back. I'm wondering, I think we might really see the Mika pick here. I, I, I just think that you could tell he wasn't comfortable in that matchup. Not throwing booms, not dictating the pace. Having to instead go in with Guile without, you know, his main tool. Yeah, right there, Infiltration. Hit it down. Say, go ahead and hit that right there. Character select. And now the pendant waits, the thought. Uh, I was liking the range. I typically like this game plan. But, yo, he's just being so reckless right now. These jump ins. I want to get in and not have to get out. Do I want to run with Mika or? Meanwhile, Infiltration just texting someone. Yeah, you know, he's got it. Well, you know, he's got to get ready for the next memes. What he's gonna post? <laughs> you know, he's got a. He's a busy man. Doing a lot. You know, or he might just be texting wifey back at home. The newly married Infiltration. Like okay, we, we see the cursor moving and we see our Mika coming out. Yeah, I, I do think he probably practice for this match with Guile. We saw, you know, the super punish on the on the side kick. We saw some matchup knowledge there and. He's deciding he's going back. I don't know which one he's going to pick. He's going to go with Kyle. Kyle. All right. Is he locked in? He's locking in? He's right. locked in. You know what? He might not have been thinking about it. You know what? He was thinking about his dogs. He was thinking That's about his he dogs? He was thinking about the dogs, the babies. I, all right. I respect it, dude. You're right. That's always nice. You got something to really go home to and you feel like a winner, yo. Like, you, ain't, you ain't locked in like us. If I, well, if I lose, <laughs> I ain't going to like coming back in my apartment if I lose. That's all right.
Well, starting the round with a jump again, really trying to get that offense started versus Infiltration. Very defensive Nash right now. And it is the inverse of the start of the first game. And that, that tells you a lot about the mental switch, as you mentioned. Knuckle through now. He needs to actually engage that offensive guy that he was known for. And that he's really you know, transferred over very well there. It's the jump in. Very wow. tough to anti air guy with jump by kick. Punishes the recovery of that with the back throw into the corner. Really controlling space a lot better than he did in the first few. Uh, first few. Absolutely. An infiltration now. Got to make this comeback from almost zero life. No. Sobot kick. Sobot kick with the property of beating low moves. So that down medium kick just goes right under Guile's jumping low Sobot kick. Which on counter hit also gets him a combo. One of the better moves in the game. Got to get this Oki. Throws him. He's still going to have to block one. Oh, no. No Texas dead. Really good knowledge from infiltration. Doesn't want to give himself any unnecessary uh, situation. So he is. Oh, never mind. Back throw. It's amazing how one back throw can change an entire match and then a jump over can change it right back. Oh, yeah. Controlling the corner because people, you know, jumping into the corner gives you that extra mix up layer where you get the cross up, but it's also risky. Oh, yeah. Really crazy. nice. Cancel the out of the second EX. Dude knows he will not need a V trigger combo to finish this out. The critical art that he has stored right now. Even some EX, really, if he can get, uh, at this point, yeah, combo and an EX. Never oh, mind! This may just punish. No! What? Oh, the Sonic Boom hits the Super, moving him out of range, and he's now safe! Wow! Oh, Luckily, still with a huge life lead, though. V reversals into the point where one jumping jab can do it. Yep. Great, great life will build up, stuffing it now, not letting it come back. It comes back slower now in season two. There it is. Yo! That's. And that's really great matchup knowledge from Knuckle Do there. You know, Infiltration tried to jump over the Fireball, which would work with a normal Sonic Boom, but with a V-skilled Sonic Cross, the hitbox is so much bigger that, you know, he gets caught on the way down. Absolutely. Just like that. That was brilliant. Knuckle Do, and we mentioned it, right? He clearly walked into this set with Guile in his mind as a matchup. He saw the Critical Arts punish. Saw it right there. That was like quintessential Ryu Street Fighter 4 play where you ultra their Fireball with this Fireball, or Ultra 1. So he's ready, and right now Infiltration is the one going into the thoughts. Yeah, you know, despite it being pretty close, Knuckle Dude dominated the pace of those that, that last game pretty hard. Yeah. However, Infiltration had the first game going, so I think we'll probably see the same matchup again. Have to imagine it. He might be considering the only other character I think he's really been seriously getting ready is Ed. Ed, uh, I mean, he had Jury for a while, but I really don't like that. Yeah, he didn't. I, yeah, I don't like that in this matchup, and I don't think he really saw the future of that character if, if one is present. But uh, and honestly, I would guess now he's probably just been more centering himself to be playing this matchup. And we saw right there the lock-in. I mean, it's gone Nash. so back and forth that I think switching is is kind of a strange decision at this point. Unless, you know, in a situation where, again, he is locked into Nash, but we've seen infiltration before in those situations. Go to something He'll just like pick whatever he wants. Yeah, he wall. does do that all the time. You're totally right about that. Fang! No, I, let me not gash off. I, I don't know about that. But I do know that we are on the final game right here. We're going to have infiltration or knuckle doing a losers before we even get to top 128. We, uh, we definitely are. Jumps onto the Sonic Boom, giving Knuckles the frame advantage to throw another one for free. And then V Trigger always can punish on reaction, even with Kyle's low recovery booms. Now Patrice is selling much better into that hit and run style, but jumped over. Jump like kick has been a hassle and a half for And that was plus there at the tip! Knuckle do with such a mastery of Guile's normals and gets the last pixel of that overhead. Just enough. Just a barely, a, just a tip of the knuckle. One of the great things about that overhead is like, some characters just can't punish it at max range. So, I mean, that would have been safe on block, to be honest. Oh, big damage here, but he missed the flash kick. That was a lot of damage on the table. Knuckle do let it go. Ended up getting crossed and sweep instead of the flash kick. But still got the corner position. Really nice. Check. Gets the jab. And I like that he didn't cancel that in the super because that combo started off of a jab. Would have scaled. I think he decided it wasn't worth it. Oh, no. And this is punishable. Let's see if now. No, doesn't get the range. May have had to just super there. Like yep, that. the V reversal there is guaranteed if Nash is to go into the second against Fireball. And the guy all knowing that. And I love that there. Knuckle uh, Duke does not have the meter to use defensively as far as EX gauge, but he does have B gauge to use for defense. And that's going to be down at the end of this round no matter what he does. So I like him using that. He throws him out of the D reversal. One more. Whoa, Shibuya. Knuckle Dude takes it pretty convincingly after losing.